You're basically looking at a combination of graffiti and basketball together. Inside of the can, you have a basketball that's kind of being shaken around. And then from out the can, it's kind of spraying the paint all around the city, all around the town. You know, it's centered around the spray can because that's what drew us into art and opened up a lot of doors. So Steve and I met in high school. Tagging felt like our own form of advertising. Because the city is our canvas. Like, we don't see buildings, we just see, like, blank places on the wall to paint. You know, I grew up with the basketball court in my yard. My basketball court is right next to my graffiti practice wall. Basketball is the lifeblood of the Bay Area. Uh, the Bay Area has great history when it comes to basketball, and this is the golden era of warrior basketball. The Bay Area right now, they're king of the hill. I would say the Bay Area has a history of being self-starters. We all grew up listening to the hip-hop music that was independently grown from here. If you look at how many artists we have come out of here, from rappers to singers, it's a big part of who we are. I think that part of what street art's happening right now is bridging generational gaps, because when we were growing up, the adults didn't understand it. They thought it was gang, gang warfare graffiti. and like gang graffiti. So now, street art is coming to a level where society can process it more. The Bay Area is, you know, uh, very instrumental in, in just independent artists. Art is a great way to express, and I think that the Bay Area has done a great job of, of capturing those artists and uh, allowing them to continue to grow. What I like most about art is that it tells me who the city is. It tells me about the soul of a city. So Steve focused more on letters, and then I kind of gravitated more towards doing characters and figures and stuff. So we, we have different tastes and different styles, and we're constantly clashing. But Tim helps me get me out of my comfort zone. Some artists are doing art in their backyard or in their studio, and no one sees their work, as graffiti is a little bit different where your work is automatically published. Now people are approaching us left and right. I mean, you have the city approaching us, high-end retail shops approaching us, we have restaurants. I mean, it's great, we would have never thought that would happen. I'm saying the most invigorating thing for us is to be able to interact with people while we paint. Or just, you know, like, hey, I walk by here every day. I'm glad something is here. I'm glad you guys put up something. You know, it's just really building the community. You know, you do a, a painting and it goes in someone's house and you're affecting that space, but a public space, there's so much responsibility, I would say, behind that. I think for us, the link between art and basketball is the competitive nature of it. If you want to win, you have to work together. When you play with better people, when you paint with better people than you are, then you're gonna get better. It's just how it works. The city here, I mean, they, they want to make this the epicenter of mural and graffiti wow. art. Oakland has a lot of dirty areas and bad areas, and San Francisco does. So for us, it's, it's going into those places and, and like just bringing the level up. With just a thin coat of paint, you can um, right. change the whole environment of a corner. We went from, you know, vandalizing and messing stuff up to, uh, to beautifying.